Okay, Sandra, here we go. It's planting day. But first of all, we have to get the ground cover down. So I'm not taking Walter with me right now. No, it's just too much to do to get the ground cover down. And then we'll bring the plants after and get that done. And we'll bring Walter later on this afternoon. But right now we're just going to work on getting the ground cover down. Yep, there's the garden. There she is. I'm going to park over in the shade. So now we're going to lay down the weed fabric. Beautiful breeze out here, but it's very hot. Ooh, it's a hot one. And my pegs to secure the weed fabric into the ground didn't come yet. So I'm going to start at the other end of the hole. Now this back row of holes that I've burnt, you see I only burnt them halfway down because I don't have enough plants to do the whole thing. And if I burn all the holes, well, guess what? All the weeds come through the holes. So if I need more holes, I'll burn them. That's the answer to that question. I don't have enough. But the cucumbers are going to go there in the back because I want them to climb that fence. Okay, here we go. We got it all done. I've got it anchored for now until, you know, the pegs come, which is hopefully soon. So I don't know how well this is going to hold. I mean, it's pretty windy out here right now. <clears throat> they're holding but you know I'm gonna put more anchor here because they're bubbling a bit like blowing in the wind but now all that's left is the planting I'm gonna go up to the house and get the plants bring them down but there's an issue I'm not feeling well no I do a little bit and I have to sit down I'm so shaky I don't know what it is and weak oh my god I, I can hardly pick up one of those little pails of dirt I pick up, I fill one, pick it up, and I gotta sit down. So this is looking like it's gonna turn into an all-day venture, but <clears throat> nothing I can do. It's my only day off for another two weeks, I think. So no rest for the farmer, I'll tell you that. Even my legs are just shaking. I'm so weak. But nothing I can do. I gotta get it done. So I'll just do a little bit, sit down, do a little bit, sit down. Now here's the kicker. That pail right there that's upside down. I have to take it up the house and fill it with water because I got this tank full and I can't get the water out and when you plant you got to plant with water every plant you put in it's got to be wet and give it water so all I can do right now is fill this up bring it back up bring it down here in the car oh this is going to be a riot but I mean what can else can I do I can't get a hose down here and I haven't got a cap yet so feeling a little frustrated but that's all right it's all right but I'm going to show you something Sandra Sam called his dog mushroom and look what's watching me build my garden one single solitary mushroom now, isn't that interesting it's right there on the edge of the garden lets me know mushrooms with me ah that felt good okay so let's get that bucket put it in the car Go up, get the water, the plants, bring it back down, and start this rodeo. Okay, I went up. I put some cooler clothes on. See if this helps. Ah, there's my mushroom. I'm going to start at the back here with uh, cucumbers. But that's got to be stationary there. Once I plant, those holes can't move. Let's get the cukes out and see what happens. There you go. It's time to pay attention. Here's my cucumbers. I got eight of them. All right, we got a bucket of water. Now, let's have a little chat here about what's going on. These are cucumbers. They're pickling cucumbers because that's all I like. I don't like the big cucumbers. Well, I like them, but not as much as the pickling. The pickling just tastes really, really good, okay? They just do. So we're gonna plant them first. The reason I'm planting them back here is because I'm going to put string to them and get them hopefully to grow up these uh, fences. But I'll cut that, all that grass down there so they won't get mixed in with that. I'll fix that later. But we've got a weed barrier down. So where I'm going to plant now, this is going to have to stay secure. And I'm hoping it will. Because remember, I don't get my stakes for another week probably. And they hold it all down, but they haven't come yet, so I'm using bricks, I'm using buckets with sand in them. I don't know, I hope they're going to hold, that's all I can say. I don't know, that's all I can do, it's all I got. Okay, so, the weed barrier's down, 
This is where we're going to plant the cucumber. Now you might, might get some weeds come up in the first couple weeks, but then these leaves are going to shade out the weeds and they won't come back again. So I shouldn't have any weeds at all, all summer, except in the first couple weeks when they try to sneak up through the holes and I get rid of them in the first couple weeks and that should be it. Then it's just water and harvest. That's the plan, okay? <laughs> we'll see. But remember, the water can go through this because it's woven plastic. It keeps the ground cooler, which is a really, really good thing. So how I'm going to start here is I figure I'm going to use a fancy little jug. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to wet these cukes while they're in their little buckets first. Give them a little water before I put them in the ground. Okay, I'll just do that. Let them soak for a minute. Now, if all goes to plan, we should have a bumper crop. If all goes to plan. Now, let's look at the back of this and see what it tells us to do. Well drained, warm, rich, fertile, sandy soil. Well, there is sand in this soil. 60 to 80 centimeters apart. What the hell is a centimeter? Now I gotta go get my bloody. Oh, my measuring tape. Thank God I brought it. Didn't leave it up at the house. I'm back. Just a minute. I'm back. Okay, it says uh, 60 to 80 centimeters apart. How long is that? Are you kidding me? This is in feet only. I have no. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, look at this. Okay, so that's 10 centimeters, 20 centimeters, 30 centimeters, 40 centimeters, 50, okay. Yeah, so one every second hole is what we'll do. Okay, here we go. Plan is to put water in the hole, like that. Okay. do dig the hole out the ground is really nice and wet already Sandra because it rained the last couple days so this soil is just beautiful to plant in I'm telling you it really is gorgeous to plant so we'll just make a hole and we're gonna add a little bit more water Hole dug, which we do. There we go. Okay. We take one of these little fellers, we just, just turn it upside down, give it a squeeze, and see all the roots? And then we just pull it apart gently. So there's two and two, and then we want to pull it apart again. And now we got one. So there's all the roots for this little feller. Okay, now what we do, we stick them in the ground right there. And we put the dirt on top of them, like that. And try and get them in the center of the hole, that's preferable. There we go. Our first one in. A puke, yay. <laughs> Isn't that fun? So we're going to ignore this hole. And we're going to go to this one here. Fancy water. Now I won't be using this to water the garden, but I'm just being a little fancy today because it's planting day. So there we go. We got our first two cucumbers in Sandra. And I can't lose these because in two days from now I'll forget what I even planted here. Okay? So. We'll have a little, I'm going to take pictures with my camera of that. Okay, there we go, Sandra. We got the cukes all planted. They're 24 inches apart, each one. Now this little guy, he's in the middle. He, he's looking kind of poorly. But, whatever. He could probably end up to be, like, you know, the little runt could end up to be the biggest one. Who knows? So, there's the row. All done. All the cukes are there. So we got our first row done. Yay! Now it might not look as fancy as Living Traditions Homestead, but 
you know me, will make her look pretty in the end. Now, as you see, I've got these extra holes because we planted them 12 inches apart. I mean, sorry, the holes are 12 inches apart. We planted them 24 inches apart, okay? So now what I gotta do is I gotta cover up these holes. So I've got black plastic, I'm gonna lay it underneath and we'll see if that works. So if I don't cover them, <laughs> it's gonna be free for all with the weeds. Oh, that's all dirty there, but there, they're pickling cucumbers. And I might pickle them, but I doubt it. I'm just gonna eat them because I love the taste of pickling cucumbers. So just, oh, they just got a different taste than regular cucumbers. They're awesome tasting. I encourage everybody to put a roll of them in. Now, the reason I put them back here, like I said, I'm going to train them to go up that fence, and you'll see what I'm going to do. All you do is put string towards them. They'll grab the vine, because they grow like a vine. You'll see, Sandra. And they all, that vine will grow up that uh, string right to the fence. So I'm going to tie string to that fence and have the string come down to them. Oh, yeah, you can train cucumbers. That's a nice thing about them, to grow up, because they're on a vine. Okay, now i got to figure out next row. I found some little sticks that I had. Bamboo paddle picks. Man, they could be the godsend in this garden until my pegs come. Because, see, I'm sticking them in everywhere to hold the plastic down. Now, the only problem is I'm afraid it might fray. If it does, I'm not going to be happy. But if it does, I'll just have to burn it wherever it frays. Because I'm just poking a hole like that. Yep, I'm sticking it in. Oh, look at my 30 feet. Okay. Now, I wanted to bring you along here for the next little bit. I'm going to plant this one plant in this hole, and I want you to see how I do it. Yeah, so, I'm going to put you down here for a minute, and I'm going to bend right over. So what I do is I dig the hole like this. Just dig around. Now, in living tradition, she adds the... Uh, rabbit manure now. Okay, I already added it. I had five 50-pound bags that I had um, tilled right into the gardens. Mine's already all in there. Actually, I can still smell it. So, now I dug the hole up. Now I take the plant and I give it a squeeze like that. And then I stick it in the hole like this and I give it a little pressure. Then what I do is I take some more earth that I have. I put it around the hole and then I lift the plastic and I just put the soil on top what I just planted give it a push down if I need a little more I'll add a little more till it comes to the hole there we go to the top of the hole and make sure it's centered so that when it grows it doesn't affect the stem and once I get that in which it is all in then I just add some water and that's it Sandra there you go that's a pepper plant planted okay. oh and take a look at who's out here today yeah, I brought them out in the sunshine. Oh, and these friggin' caterpillars. Well, give me a minute to tell you about these suckers. They are everywhere. They're falling from the trees. Oh, they're on me. Let me find one. They're everywhere. They're not, look, look at them. There's one right there. They're everywhere. They're falling on me. Oh, creep me out. Whatever. Okay, well, there. Say hi to Sandra. Say hi, Sandra. Say hi, Sandra. Hi, Sandra. Are you having fun, Walter? Yeah, it's a pretty bird, aren't you? You like being out here in the sunshine. Yeah, you got enough shade in there. You're all right. There's one of those gypsy moths coming down on the trees. <laughs> well, they're awful. Well, they're caterpillars right now, but they're going to become gypsy moths. So that's what they've been spraying for because they're just rampant this year. And when they make a nest in the trees, they kill the tree. So you got to get them out of the trees. Yeah. But not on me. Oh, no. Look, there's another sucker crawling along. They're everywhere. Oh, I'm telling you. Too much. Okay, I'll turn you off. Get back at her. As you can see, i got quite a bit done. Yes, I do. So now I'm on the tomato row. I'm going to take it right to the end. I'll let you go, and you'll probably run out before I'm done. But we'll see. Okay, I need more water. Okay, Sandra, this is getting down to the last hurrah now. Yep, I gotta wait. Uh, row, half a row and a quarter to go. And I've stopped to take a drink because I'm dying of thirst here. Break time, baby. 
Okay, there. No, there it is. All planted nice, but it's got to be going on to 7 o'clock at night. <laughs> yeah, so I'm in a rush now to get this done. But it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. But I see a bunch of ants. Little ones. I don't know if that's a bad thing. Could be little fire ants. I heard they're fiery little buggers. I don't know if they hurt the garden. I don't know. But you know what I haven't seen is any worms. And I don't like that. I want worms. Because worms are my underground irrigation. It's one thing about my mom and dad's garden. It always had worms. Because we used to go and pick the deweys to go fish. And get big fat dew worms with slime all over our fingers. Oh yeah, those were the days, man. I don't know about today if I could do that. No, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to angle you a bit that way because of the sun. How's that? Is that better? Is that better? Can you see now? Yeah, this is pretty tiring to do by yourself, let me tell you. But I'm doing it, and that's what matters. Now, if it's going to just become a buffet for bunny rabbits, or if I'm actually going to get anything out of this garden, we'll see. That remains to be seen. Done all the reading, all the watching, all the other stuff. Let's see if anything comes of it. So I cut a hole. I put the water in. Oh yeah, why am I cutting holes and not burning them? Well, because I can't. I haven't got time. Now what's that going to mean? How is this going to fray on me? What's that mean? I don't know. Is it a bad thing? Is going to fray terrible? Might, might not. Don't know. Couldn't tell you. i got to water this. If it does, well, it does. I can only do so much, and I can't burn them. I haven't got time. The wind kicked up anyway. There's no way I could have burnt them out here. And they're staked down, so most I can do is cut them and hope for the best. I mean, most of them are burnt. Most of them, so I'm not too worried about them. But, you know, we'll see what happens with it. I don't know. Somebody's got a donkey out here, Sandra. A donkey! Yeah, he's so cute. Yeah, he was just making noise. I don't know if you heard him or not. <laughs> Somebody's got a donkey. Eeyore! 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 There's the garden. It's all in. I had to go and get my other camera because my other one, something screwed up on it. I can't make it work, so I'm using this one, which don't like using on video because it doesn't focus properly so I don't know if it's in focus I'm hoping it is there's the garden it's all planted it's all pretty pretty okay hope this come out see you later Sandra